Houston's Morning News. Joining us is Michelle Hickman. We've been telling her story all morning long. We began yesterday on the web. This is an angry, I'm going to call her angry. She may disagree with me, but I think she was kind of mad. A local breastfeeding mom who did not like how she was treated at Target and inspired a national movement yesterday as there were flash mobs all over the country at Target's where women went inside and began breastfeeding. I'm going to call it a dare for Target employees to do anything. Good morning, Michelle. How are you this morning? I'm doing good. Hey, I saw a picture of you and your child. I got to tell you, you got one cute baby. Thank you. He looks, uh, is it a he? I'm sorry. Is it a he or she? He. He he is a very well-fed baby as well. <laughs> yes, sir. What took place at Target that made you mad? Um. Well, you know, I was asked to move to the fitting room several times, even despite telling them um, my legal right to not have to move to the fitting room with a cart full of stuff that I didn't want to, you know, come out of the fitting room and have it gone, which has happened to me several times at stores before. And after shopping for an hour, who wants to redo their shopping for another hour with your children in, in tote? Um, so I don't go to fitting rooms for that reason anymore. So I sat down completely covered up and fed my baby in, a, in an area that was out of the way and, um, re- Despite repeated, you know, repeated times that I told them I had the right to be there, they still were insistent upon me moving. But the worst part was the next day, whenever I called corporate, just to say, hey, you know, um, the employees shouldn't be telling people that, you know, we have to move to the fitting rooms because we actually don't by law. And um, the lady there said just because it was a woman's right to feed a baby in public doesn't mean that we should be flaunting it. And this is a guest relations specialist on a corporate level, mm-hmm. you know, that's telling me these, these types of, of mm-hmm. um, comments. And I said, you know, I'm not calling to treat, create problems. I'm just calling to tell you that you need to be training the employees better within the legal rights of a woman um, to nurse in public. So, So, Michelle, then you took this and you put it on Facebook. Were you ready for the kind of response you got? I actually didn't put it on Facebook. I shared it with a couple moms, and they kind of shared it with other people. And after a bunch of moms, you know, with similar stories and things that have happened to them got wind of it, they actually created the Facebook page for me. So I didn't Uh actually organize this myself. So yesterday it was a huge ordeal, though, a huge deal. I I didn't expect, you know, anything like this to come out of it just because I was sharing my story of frustration with some other moms. No, by no means did I expect it, but... It's awesome to see that there's that much support out there for for moms, and it's sad to hear that it's happening so frequently in every place, you know, different places all over the place other than just Target, you know, all, everywhere um, mm-hmm. on, on a very frequent basis to moms. Well, we're talking to Michelle Hickman. She is a local mother, a breastfeeding mom. She got angry because she was asked to go to a fitting room and breastfeed her child. It started a national movement yesterday, women protesting all around the country. When we come back, Michelle, we're going to do traffic and weather very quickly, but when we come back, I want to ask you what response you got from Target, because I think they've changed their tune just a tad. We'll do that next. 7.23 the time this Thursday morning. We've been speaking with Michelle Hickman. If you don't know her story, you're about to find out more about her. She's a, a Houston mom who was shopping at a Target in Webster and was told not to nurse her child there in public, but to go into a fitting room. And instead of just taking and going outside or going to the fitting room, she kind of fought back a little bit and inspired a movement that took place with moms across the nation going into Target stores and breastfeeding. So 36 different states, women came out and said, no, we're not doing that. Thanks again once again for uh, joining us, Michelle. I want to know what Target said. I mean, of course, you shared with us what the employees said to you then, but I think probably after they thought about it, they said something else to you? Um, eventually, Target did issue a one-sentence, you know, little statement saying, we're sorry for the inconvenience after, you know, all of the pressure was put on. But it, the incident happened November 29th, and they didn't issue the statement until hours before the nurse in that was yesterday um, in the middle of the night at some point because Best for Babes Foundation um, kind of was being an advocate on my behalf, um, and they finally got in contact with someone who issued something that said, you know, we're sorry for the inconvenience. Michelle, I have to ask you this because as a former nursing mom, uh, very few women that I ever saw nursing were out to expose themselves. Are Were the women that spoke to you, since you described yourself as being covered up, were they like afraid of a wardrobe malfunction? I'm not quite certain. You know, I had a large blanket over me and there was no exposure at all. And, you know, I, I really don't see what the big deal is about exposure. Breast 
are used to and were you know to nourish a baby and it's okay for people to use them to sell beer or sell sunglasses and they don't have a problem with that but they have a problem with you know um, seeing someone nursing their baby and the amount of exposure if any for for moms who who choose not to cover up in public is far less than what you see walking around stores every day. Um, so I really don't hmm. see what the big deal is. Michelle Hickman, she's uh, the Houston mom who inspired a movement around the country. Well, thank you for joining us this morning. The best to you and to your family. Uh, I will check in with you down the road. I got a funny feeling that these women, if you've got that many hundreds of women across 36 different states, that angry to go out and do that on uh, this busy holiday week, that this is probably not over. We're definitely going to continue to talk about this right here on Houston's Morning News.